Oh yeah, baby, I got the full specs and performance for RDNA 3. Let's talk about it. That's right, at this point in time, I finally have enough information to put together a full list showing the entire specs as well as performance for all the RDNA 3 GPUs all the way from the RX 7700 to the RX 7950 XT or whatever AMD ends up calling it, that flagship GPU that's going to be an absolute monster. And guys, everything is looking absolutely insane. Now, I did make one of these charts a little while ago. However, it turns out that some of the information in that chart that came from leaks, well, it turns out some of those leaks were off just by a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and put together a new updated list that I think makes a lot more sense. Now this information, a lot of it is going to come from people like Red Gaming Tech as well as Greymon55 and I will go ahead and put those links in the description below so you can go ahead and read some of their original posts and some of their original videos to get more context but with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. So starting off with the RX 7700, this is going to be the most entry level GPU that I know of so far although of course there will be some others that are revealed sometime in the future. Now this will be based off of the Navi 33 GPU, it will have a price point likely around $400, 16 work group processors for 4,096 shaders, a boost clock that's going to be 3 gigahertz or even higher, 12 gigabytes of G6 memory running at 18 gigabits per second on a 192 bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 432 gigabytes per second with 96 megabytes of cache to help out with that memory bandwidth just a little bit. Now in terms of performance, I am expecting the RX 7700 to come in somewhere around RTX 3080 performance and it will be revealed I believe sometime in June. January of 2023 with availability sometime in Q1 of 2023. Now moving on to the RX 7700 XT, this one will also be based off of the Navi 33 die, however this one should be the full die. Now it will come in at a price point of what I believe is going to be around 500 US dollars. It's going to have 20 work group processors for a total shader count of 5120. It's going to have a boost clock of once again 3 gigahertz plus with 12 gigabytes of G6 plus memory running at 21 gigabits per second on a 100 192 bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 504 gigabytes per second with once again 96 megabytes of cache. Now in terms of performance, I am actually expecting this one to come in at roughly around 15% higher performance than in RTX 3090, so very very powerful stuff there. Once again, reveal date January 2023 with availability sometime in Q1 of 2023. Now moving on to stuff that's going to be coming out a little bit sooner, the RX 7800. This one's going to be based off of the Navi 32 die, should come in at a price point somewhere around 600 US dollars, have 26 work group processors for a total shader count of 6,656, a boost clock of 2.8 gigahertz plus, 16 gigabytes of G6 memory running at 18 gigabits per second on a 256-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 576 gigabytes per second. Now this will also come equipped with 128 megabytes of cache, and in terms of performance, I am expecting it to be somewhere around 35% than the RTX 3090. Now in terms of the reveal date, I am expecting this one to be revealed sometime around November of 2022 with availability sometime in December of 2022. Now moving on to the RX 7800 XT, this one is going to be the full Navi 32 die, should come in at a price point around 700 US dollars, have 32 work group processors for a total shader count of 8192, a boost clock of 2.8 gigahertz plus, 16 gigabytes of G6 plus memory running at 21 gigabits per second on a 256 bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 672 gigabytes per second with 128 megabytes of cache much like the RX 6900 XT and in terms of performance this one should be around 60% faster than the RTX 3090 and once again reveal date November 2022 December 2022 in terms of availability. Now moving on to the RX 7900 and this is going to be the first GPU based off of the Navi 31 die the biggest GPU die AMD will be producing. Now in terms of the price, I am expecting this one to come in at around a thousand US dollars, have 38 work group processors for a total of 9,728 shaders, a 2.7 gigahertz plus clock speed, and 12 gigabytes of G6 memory, although it could end up actually being 24 gigabytes uh, running at 18 gigabits per second on a 384 bit bus for the first time in a long time for AMD for a total memory bandwidth of 864 gigabytes per second, which is going to be a pretty massive 
massive increase over the 6900 XT. Now this is going to also have 192 megabytes of cache, which is going to be a 50% increase over the 6900 XT. And in terms of performance, I am expecting it to be somewhere around 85% faster than the RTX 3090. And in terms of the reveal date, once again, November 2022 with availability sometime actually I believe around January of 2023. Now moving on to the RX 7900 XT, this one's going to be the Navi 31 die once again, just a little bit bigger. It's going to come in at a price point of what I believe is going to be around 1300 US dollars with 42 work group processors for a total shader count of 10,752. In terms of the boost clock, we're talking 2.8 gigahertz plus 24 gigabytes of G6 plus memory running at 21 gigabits per second on a 384 bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 1008 gigabytes per second plus you're getting that 192 megabytes of cache and in terms of performance i am expecting this one to come in close to two times the amount of performance of the rtx 3090 with once again the reveal date around november 2022 and availability january of 2023 and then finally we have the rx 7950 xt the biggest gpu amd can possibly produce based off of the navi 31 die i do believe this one's going to come in at a price of somewhere between 1.5 and 2 thousand dollars depending on what nvidia does it should have 48 work group processors based on all of the leaks for a total of 12,288 shaders a boost clock of 2.8 gigahertz plus 24 gigabytes of g6 plus memory running at 21 gigabits per second on a 384 bit bus for once again 1008 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth with 192 megabytes of cache and in terms of performance i am expecting this one to be around 2.1 x the amount of performance of the rtx 3090 with a reveal date november 2022 and availability january of 2023 so there you have it there's the entire lineup all the way from the rx 7700 to the 7950 xt in terms of all their specs and performance and everything that we know about these gpus and overall guys i gotta say that these things are looking really really powerful and i think these new updated specs make a whole lot more sense I mean, you take a look at the 7950 XT just for example with a 384 bit buzz and over a terabyte per second memory bandwidth. I think that's going to scale much, much better than if you were to have, say, uh, the one with the original 15,000 shaders, but only, you know, less than a terabyte of memory bandwidth because it only had a 256 bit bus. I don't think that really made a whole lot of sense. I also don't think uh, that you're going to be seeing like 384 or 512 megabytes of cache. It's possible you could be seeing 384 megabytes of cache. I just simply don't think they need it. I mean, with the 384 bit buzz, a terabyte a second in memory bandwidth and 50% more uh, cash already. I don't think they need to get any more than that. I think it's going to get the job done. So I think all of this makes a whole lot more sense. The math is all adding up and I do believe the final specs for these GPUs is going to come very, very close to what you're seeing in this chart. And I also believe the AMD is going to be very, very competitive in terms of their performance versus Nvidia. So I think it's going to be a very, very good generation. So if you want to share this video and comment below what you believe the specs are going to be, that would be a huge help. I appreciate everyone who watches this video and is really enthusiastic just like me about the next generation of GPUs and I cannot wait to get my hands on both the Nvidia and AMD GPUs that are going to be coming out actually pretty shortly in the not too distant future. But hey that's just what I think. What do you think the specs of RDNA 3 are really going to be? Let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed.